What if I told you that the oil your car uses, 0W20 or 5W30, could decide whether your engine lasts 500,000 miles or dies before even 20,000? Sounds hard to believe, right? But it's true. A big test on 50 engines, done by independent labs and checked by major car companies, proved that the difference between these two oils isn't just a few numbers on a label. It affects everything. Fuel economy, engine wear, valve cleanliness, and even how much oil your car uses. Yet most drivers, and even some mechanics, still choose the wrong one. So today, we'll take a deep look at the facts, myths, and surprising results behind 0W20 and 5W30. By the end, you'll know exactly which oil your engine really needs and why one of them might be quietly damaging it. Before we start, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications because every week I share real science about what keeps your car running strong. Section 1. What the numbers really mean. Let's make this simple once and for all. 0W20 and 5W30 aren't secret codes. They describe how oil behaves in cold and hot temperatures. The first number, the 0W or 5W, shows how easily oil flows in winter. W stands for winter. 0W oil stays thinner in cold weather, helping your engine start faster on freezing mornings. 5W oil is a bit thicker, so it takes slightly longer to move through the engine when you start it. The second number, 20 or 30, tells how thick the oil stays at 212 degrees Fahrenheit, which is normal engine temperature. 20 weight oil is thinner when hot, while 30 weight oil keeps a thicker layer for better protection under pressure. So on paper, 0W20 looks great, easy starts and better mileage. But what happens when that thin oil faces real world heat, long idling or towing? Let's find out. Section 2. The 50 engine test, what really happened. Independent labs, along with the Automotive Testing Institute of North America, ran a 200,000 mile test on 50 identical engines. Half used 0W20 and the other half used 5W30. Same engines, same care. The results shocked even the experts. Engines using 0W20 got about 2-3% better fuel economy in city driving, but they also had 42% more bearing wear and used 28% more oil by 150,000 miles. Engines with 5W30 had slightly lower mileage, but cleaner pistons, stronger oil film under pressure, and less timing chain wear. In short, 0W20 wins in the short term, but 5W30 wins in the long run. Or as Scotty Kilmer says, 0W20 is great while your car is under warranty, but if you want your engine to reach 300,000 miles, 5W30 is your best friend. Section 3. Why Automakers Push 0W20 So why do new cars, even big SUVs, come with 0W20 stickers? The reason is simple. Government rules. In the U.S., fuel economy laws punish car companies if their average fuel mileage goes below a set target. Using thinner oil in millions of cars improves overall MPG, helping companies save millions in fines. Even Toyota admitted in a 2018 report that low viscosity oil is mainly chosen for fuel economy. Under heavy use or tough driving, thicker oil may protect better. They know thicker oil gives better protection, but they also know most drivers will give up long-term durability for one extra mile per gallon. Here's the catch. In Japan and Europe, the same engines are tested long-term using 5W30 or even 5W40 oil. Only North American versions use the very thin 0W20 to meet emission and fuel economy rules. Section 4. When 0W20 works and when it doesn't. 0W20 oil does have its purpose, but only if used in the right situations. Use 0W20 if you live in cold places below 32 degrees Fahrenheit, drive short trips with light loads, change oil before 5,000 miles, and have a newer car designed with small engine gaps like Toyota, Honda, or Mazda. Avoid using 0W20 if you live in hot or desert areas, tow or carry heavy loads, drive fast or above 3,000 RPM often, or have an engine with over 100,000 miles. In those cases, thin oil can break down, losing thickness and allowing metal parts to rub directly. 
In a 2022 AMSOIL lab test, 0W20 turned into 18 weight oil after just 7,000 miles in turbo engines. That's dangerously thin. Section 5. The myth that thinner is better. Advertisements often claim that thinner oil reduces friction. That's half true. Thinner oil flows faster, yes, but protection depends on the oil's film strength, not just flow. Film strength comes from thickness, viscosity, and additives like zinc, ZDDP, and phosphorus. Thinner oils depend more on these additives, which wear out faster. After 5,000 miles, most 0W20 oils lose about 40% of their protective ZDDP layer, while 5W30 keeps most of it. In simple words, thinner oil wears out faster, and so does your engine. Section 6. The hidden heat zone that destroys thin oils. Inside every modern engine, there's a hidden heat zone between the piston rings in the cylinder walls. Temperatures there can rise above 500 degrees Fahrenheit, especially in turbo and direct injection engines. 0W20 starts to lose its film strength around 450 degrees Fahrenheit based on ASTM D4683 testing. When that happens, metal parts start touching and engine wear increases quickly. Photos from the 50 engine test proved this. Engines using 0W20 showed piston damage and sticky varnish, while engines using 5W30 stayed clean with a strong oil layer, even under stress. That's because 5W30 forms an oil film about 35% thicker than 0W20. That tiny difference can mean smooth performance instead of metal grinding. And for hybrids, the problem is worse. Constant stop-start action makes oil pressure drop again and again. That's why Toyota quietly advises using 5W30 in hybrids after 100,000 miles, even though the manual still lists 0W20. Section 7. Oil Consumption and Timing Chain If your car burns oil between oil changes, you're not imagining it. 0W20 oils have higher volatility, which means they evaporate faster under heat. Tests show they can lose up to 13% of their mass in just 10 hours at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, while 5W30 loses only about 6 to 7%. That evaporated oil turns into sticky residue that coats intake valves and clogs the catalytic converter. Thin oils also provide weaker lubrication for the timing chain. In a 2020 Nissan report, using 0W20 caused the timing chain in turbo engines to stretch by 2.5 millimeters. After switching to 5W30, the wear immediately dropped. So if you hear ticking or rattling when starting your car, it might not be because it's old. It could just be oil that's too thin. Section 8. Turbo Engines and Extreme Heat Turbochargers are like oil torture machines. They spin at over 150,000 RPM and are cooled only by oil. 0W20 can handle mild turbo use, but in hot weather or on long drives, it breaks down to 16 or 18 weight in just 3,000 miles. When oil gets that thin, it can't protect the bearings properly, leading to oil starvation and engine failure. That's why Garrett and Borg Warner, two of the biggest turbocharger makers, both recommend at least a 30 weight oil for better turbo life. Meanwhile, 5W30 full synthetic oils made from high quality base stocks, Group 4 or V-Base, can handle up to 480 degrees without breaking down. That's real protection, not marketing talk. Section 9. The Secret Middle Ground Engineers Use Here's something most drivers never hear. There's a perfect middle option called 0W30. 0W30 gives you the cold start benefits of 0W20 and the high temperature protection of 5W30. In a 2019 Lubrizol study, engines using 0W30 showed 29% less wear than those using 0W20, with only a 0.3 mpg drop and almost the same flow during startup. That's why many European car brands like Audi, BMW and Volvo prefer 0W30 as their default oil. If you live in a cold place but sometimes drive hard or tow, 0W30 synthetic oil is the perfect balance. Section 10. How to choose the right oil for your car. Choosing the right oil isn't just about what's written on your cap. It depends on how and where you drive. Use this simple guide. Below 20 degrees Fahrenheit, use 0W20. Between 20 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit, use 5W30. 
above 90 degrees Fahrenheit or for towing, use 10W30 or 5W40. Always pick oil with API ILCAC GF6 or ACEA A5B5 certification. Choose full synthetic oil for longer oil change intervals. Blends can't handle high heat as well. Avoid high mileage oil unless your car leaks or burns oil because the seal softeners inside can damage healthy gaskets unnecessarily. Section 11. What you should actually use. If your car is new and still under warranty, keep using 0W20 oil. But once your car reaches around 80,000 to 100,000 miles, or if you drive in hot weather, in the mountains, or while towing, switch to 5W30 full synthetic oil. 5W30 holds its protective layer under pressure, shields your turbo, and reduces timing chain wear. It's the best oil for long-term engine life. And if your car has performance upgrades or runs high turbo boost, 5W40 is your safety net. The numbers on the oil bottle aren't just marketing. They represent your engine's level of protection. If the oil is too thin, heat will damage the parts. If it's too thick, oil won't flow properly. But the right thickness, chosen with real science, keeps metal parts safely apart for years. So next time you're in the store looking at those shiny, eco-friendly labels, remember this. Engines don't care about marketing. They care about the oil's chemistry. Choose your oil based on how and where you drive, not what the label claims. Because in the end, the right oil won't just save a few cents on fuel, it can save you thousands in repair costs. Now I want to hear from you. What oil are you using right now? Have you ever switched between 0W20 and 5W30? Did you notice any changes in sound, smoothness, or oil usage? Share your experience below. It might help another driver protect their engine. And if you found this useful, hit like, share, and subscribe. Remember, your car doesn't care about ads. It cares about proper maintenance.